StarCraft is a series of real-time strategy games developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment. It is set in the 26th century in a distant corner of the Milky Way and revolves around an intergalactic military conflict between three factions, the Terrans, the Zerg and the Protoss. You can choose to play as each of the three races and your goal is then to defeat the opponent with your military forces and build structures and train units in order to create the conditions for doing so. This of course requires careful balancing of the use of your resources. The StarCraft series has been a huge success around the world, especially in South Korea, where it for many years had a thriving professional esports scene. The first StarCraft started development in 1995 using the engine used for Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness as a base. It was first shown at E3 1996, where it got negative reactions from the audience, who felt that the game was too similar to Warcraft 2. This led to the decision to completely rework the engine. This decision paid off, as StarCraft was met with great reviews, labeling the game as the best real-time strategy game ever made and became the best-selling game of 1998. The game was also notable for its extensive use of cinematics, asymmetric distribution of the units and technology available for the playable factions, its online modes and the ability to create your own custom maps and campaigns. StarCraft Insurrection was the first expansion pack for StarCraft and was developed by Aztec New Media. The game was released July 31st, 1998, only a few months after the original game. It included three campaigns with a total of 30 missions. Most of them were Terran based. It did not introduce any new features, but included 100 new multiplayer maps and 10 new heroes. In the end, Insurrection was a failure both commercially and critically. It was criticized mainly for its lacking story and less in quality compared to the original game and sold very few copies. StarCraft Retribution is a game developed by Stardog and published by Wizard Works. It was developed completely independent of Blizzard but was authorized to be an official expansion pack for StarCraft and was released in late 1998. It included single-player campaigns for each of the three factions, new heroes and 120 new multiplayer maps. Retribution was met with mixed to negative reviews, all finding the game not to stand out much compared to other games in the genre. Around the same time, yet another expansion was released. It was called StarCraft Brood War and included three new campaigns which continued the original story from StarCraft. Many of the original developers from the first game returned to work on Brood War. A lot of improvements were made. Notably, the AI was improved, while new units, new music tracks and non-linear missions were added. The game sold well and reviews were also very positive, with some critics saying that it felt like a full standalone game rather than an expansion. In the year 2000, Blizzard released a port for StarCraft on the Nintendo 64 called StarCraft 64. The release also included the expansion Brood War and a secret mission called Resurrection 4 which was set after the conclusion of Brood War. The difference from the computer version was that the controls were changed to work better on the Nintendo 64, some cinematics were shortened and it lacked online multiplayer and voiceovers and mission briefings. However, you were able to play co-op in single player mode. Blizzard holds a negative opinion of this game and has stated that they will not release a StarCraft game for console again unless the game was specifically built for it. Even after the massive success of the first game, it took 12 years for Blizzard to develop and release the long-awaited sequel StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. The story took place 4 years after the end of Brood War, 
and focused solely on campaigns featuring the Terran faction, while the two following games in the StarCraft II trilogy focused on the other two factions. StarCraft II immensely improved the graphics and included an improved campaign, map and mod editor. It also put more emphasis on the online multiplayer portion of the game, making it more competitive through a ladder system and improved the matchmaking. However, the game did not offer LAN play. Wings of Liberty sold over 3 million copies in its first year of release and received universal praise from critics. StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm was released in 2013 as the first expansion to StarCraft II and included a campaign with 27 new missions focused on the Zerg race. Furthermore, the game introduced new units for each faction and changed the abilities for existing buildings and units. In 2015, Heart of the Swarm was made into a standalone game that no longer required the player to buy Wings of Liberty before playing. Heart of the Swarm was both a critical and commercial success as it received positive reviews and sold over 1 million copies in its first two days of release. StarCraft II Legacy of the Void is the last entry in the StarCraft II trilogy. It was released in 2015. It revolved around the Protoss race and followed the events of Heart of the Swarm. The game introduced new units and new multiplayer modes. Legacy of the Void sold more than 1 million copies in its first 24 hours of release and received mostly positive reviews. StarCraft II Nova Covert Ops is a mission pack for StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. It was released in three parts, including three missions each in 2016. The game focused on main character Nova and her unit, for which new technology and weapons are available. The mission packs received mixed reviews, mainly criticizing the short length of the missions. StarCraft Remastered is a 2017 remake of the original StarCraft and the expansion Brood War, featuring unaltered gameplay. It brought back the artist from the original game to better the graphics, making it possible to play the game in up to 4K resolution. Additionally, the game also improved the audio, updated the dialogue, improved multiplayer matchmaking and made it possible for the player to switch between the original and remastered graphics. It released August 14, 2017.